Welcome to Kidney Stones video. You see this pair of kidneys, right? This is the passes of urine from kidney catheter. And when the urine gets in, that's bladder. So here the urine gets stuck because there's a valve here. As long as it doesn't get full, as long as you don't put pressure, as long as you don't go to the toilet, the urine sits here in the bladder, right? So what happens? There are stones may be formed here, stones. So why stones are formed? The main reason is oxalate. It's created by the body because it's necessary and it is also formed by food. So 80% body mix and 20% of oxalate food contains. The problem is keto diet. Keto diet, this is the main culprit. We need to have keto diet because it has thousands of benefits. But the only problem is this keto diet, the foods, the best food, you can say. The better the foods are, the more oxalate these foods have in them. This is the problem. But don't worry, it's not a problem. You need to have intermittent fasting. You need to have the best foods. You have to have sugar-free foods. The more sugar-free, the more there's a possibility of oxalate. So, you have different vegetables, different foods, suppose eggs, nuts, different vegetables, right? These are full of oxalate, but don't worry because your body makes 80% of oxalate, 20% is made by the foods you intake. So don't worry, you do three things if you have keto diet if you have base foods that contain a lot of oxalate what you do is you have a lot of water the more urination the better it is for you because small kidney stones may be formed because of a lot of water you take you drink because of the urine, yeah, it, the stones get rid of your body from the kidneys with the help of urination, urinate, right? Number two, you have lemon water. This helps a lot. It melts the stones and you can get rid of the kidney stones. Number three, you pour apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. These three things can help a lot. So, stones are formed, don't worry, everything is fine, no problem. Even when you have base foods that have a lot of oxalate, don't worry, you keep having a lot of water you mix lemon with water you mix apple cider vinegar with water that's it no problem right but the problem is what happened to me is that i did not understand that i had kidney stones as i have been having no rice no bread almost no sugar almost no carbohydrate what i do is i go on keto diet I have a lot of four eggs every day 
nuts 100 to 200 grams right that's why I, uh, I I have a lot of other things that are very much prone to have kidney stones so what has happened to me is that all the stones I don't know they were formed and they got rid of my kidneys you see this is the catheter the water gets gets down and then it gets inside the bladder it sits there unless i go to toilet for pee or uh, a lot of pressure comes and then i need to go to yeah if you have kidney stones what happens is that you have to go to toilet within a very short time you cannot avoid it can be something very much urgent you have to read it in a moment like that and the color will also get uh, different colored right mm. it may be even red if you have blood then it will get red usually it's yellow uh, straw different signs you have this about it so the thing is that the what happened to me is that i it has happened to a very good story Devdas and Parvati right so Devdas was outside and Parvati was inside and there were toll doors toll doors so what happened is that when she runs out of one door the door gets closed by this way she crossed 11 doors crossed but the last door before she crosses 12th door the door was closed before she got out of the house the same problem has happened to me as i had small kidney stones they got out of my uh, kidneys yes but one stone somehow got bigger it was almost yeah more than 20 millimeters hmm. so if it is four millimeters then they can come down with the help of water urination right if it is even uh, less than 10 mm it's possible if you have medicine if the walls are made flexible some ways there are so that the stones even up to 10 millimeters can get out sometimes possible but if it is more than that it's not possible then you have to have an operation yes it will be inserted inside and the ray will break the stones into pieces or you may have beside navel right navel you have a little insertion and then it goes inside and inside and then with the help of rays right the stones can get crushed into small pieces and that's how the problem is solved but the problem is as i had one stone there it was even more than 20 millimeters i didn't understand when they formed and whatever has happened right so that is stone either from left or right kidney got out and there is stuck this stone when i had ultrasound nothing reported everything is fine when i had the x-ray then it was there it's visible right so my doctor gave me an injection local anesthesia when a woman uh, has an, a caesarean baby caesarean right then an injection is inserted okay in the backbone a little beside the backbone in the back right that's local anesthesia and within seven minutes the doctor just inserted and it yes when it's open the urine gets out of the bladder along with the 
the stone right the problem is solved but the problem arises later as i had catheter for urine right catheter inserted catheter and i have an urine bag so it was kept five days right even a little more than five days five and a half days so because of this urine infection urine infection that is uti urinary tract infection this is a problem and in the next video i'll be talking about urine infection that's it for now thanks for watching